All right, we're back again. This is Travel Guru VT. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. We really appreciate it, and it helps us with the algorithm. Let's get right into this. For dinner tonight, we got food from <clears throat> New Orleans Hamburger and Seafood. Wait, let me make sure I got that right. New Orleans Hamburger and Seafood Restaurant, I believe is the name. Um, if I got that wrong, I apologize, and it will be corrected when this video comes out. But I got the shrimp and gumbo combo. Comes with a bowl of gumbo, some fried shrimp, potato wedges. I'm just gonna peek in and show you guys that. And some fried popcorn sized shrimp. And it also comes with tartar sauce, cocktail sauce, and some garlic butter to pour on the fries. So that is going to be very tasty. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way for you guys. You can see what's going on. And for dessert, we got the nut brownie a la mode. And it looks like they looked out for us. It came with two brownies, some caramel sauce, chocolate sauce, and vanilla ice cream. That should be pretty tasty as well. And I also got a bottle of water. You know, try to keep it healthy. And some unsweetened tea, but I took a sip of it and it's sweet, but it's cool. But let's go ahead and address the elephants in the room. I am going to try the gumbo first, but I want to pour this garlic butter on the fries before it you know, cools down too much. Oh, that smells amazing. I wish you guys could smell this. So delicious. I haven't even tasted it yet, but it just smells delicious. So I know the taste is going to be out of this world. All right, but first I'm going to go for the gumbo. And I believe it said it was seafood gumbo. So I'm expecting some shrimp in here and the usual suspects as well. The andouille sausage, peppers, things of that nature. So, um... Just flipping through the cup. Oh, we do got some shrimp in there. All right, I'm going to try to get the whole bite. A little bit of shrimp, a little bit of sausage, some rice. Yeah, let's go for it. Wow. I've had gumbo before, but I've never had authentic gumbo in New Orleans and Huge difference in the taste. That is amazing. Got a nice fat piece of okra right there on top this time. Let's see how that is. Mm. Okra is so tender, it just melts in your mouth. Let's see if I can get a little spoonful that isn't messy so I can pull up to the camera for you guys. Um, if you're new to the channel, thanks for joining us. We do flight deals, food reviews, and timeshare reviews. All right, check that out, guys. Nice little popcorn-sized shrimp, some andouille sausage, rice gravy, all the usual suspects. It is official. Just what I needed. My throat was a little sore earlier. But this gumbo is just clearing that right up like instantly. Two bites. Wow. I'm going to dig into one of these wedges right now. All the garlic butter is garlic buttering all over it. Look at that. Mmm. The smell did not lie. So delicious. All right, this place is going to get, just so far, just off the gumbo and the wedges, I'm going to give them a 9.1. I haven't even got to the shrimp yet or the dessert, but let's just go ahead and dig into the shrimp now just to make it official. Hit it with a little cocktail sauce. Actually, I'm going to sit that one on the side, and we're going to try one plain first. Looks like a nice 
you dusted cornmeal breading. Beautifully seasoned. Shrimp is nice and tender, not rubbery and hard, overcooked, perfectly cooked. And it's not a cornmeal kind of batter. It tastes more of a like a fish fry kind of batter. So it has a slight cornmeal texture, but it's a little more fluffed and refined. And that cocktail sauce does not disappoint. If it's not homemade, it is the very best you can buy in the store. Spot on, just the right amount of horseradish and everything. It's marvelous. But I'm going to dig back into this gumbo because it's, um, you know, roughly low mid 60s here. So it's not hot, but it's not cold either. But this nice cup of hot gumbo is just comforting me right now. So got to dig in. Mm. So don't need much words for this. After trying everything with the exception of dessert, and I'm sure dessert is going to be fine. I'm I'm fine giving this a nine point five out of ten. It's hitting all the marks. The prices were great. Like the um. The combo they called the shrimp and gumbo combo was thirteen dollars, and that was the shrimp, the wedges, the gumbo sauces, and it looks like there's a piece of toast at the bottom. But I don't eat toast, so we're gonna sideline that. But I am gonna keep digging into this gumbo until it's gone. I don't want to stop. It's just that good, guys. Um, while I am stuffing my face, I do want to thank everyone for checking in, liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing the videos. You know, I really, really appreciate it. You guys keep us going. There is no Travel Guru VT without the Travel Guru VT gang. That's you guys. God, this is perfectly seasoned. There were other restaurants that had gumbo that I wanted to try, but this place made the most sense for today, right now. But, you know, maybe before the journey is over, we'll try gumbo at another spot and do a little comparison, you know, see who's got the upper hand. There was um one place in particular, I can't remember the name, but the um, picture they had was beautiful, and it was labeled as, this was labeled as seafood gumbo, but the shrimp is the only seafood in it, but there was another place that had a seafood gumbo, and it came with, you know, some lobster claws and some crawfish, you know, a nice seafood medley in there, in addition to the andouille sausage and chicken. So maybe we'll check that out before this tour is over. But for now... New Orleans hamburger and seafood restaurant is hitting the spot. Firing on all cylinders. Go for another one of these shrimp. It's perfection all the way around. The only thing that isn't a true negative, but if I had to give some constructive criticism and feedback, you just, just put a little more shrimp in the bowl for me. Not for everyone else, just for me. There was maybe three in this bowl. It's a you know decent size takeout size. Oh, but I could have used a little more shrimp. But other than that, it is delicious. I'm definitely going to finish this up. Jump to another piece of shrimp and that beautiful cocktail sauce. 
I don't even think I'm going to use this tartar sauce. I got it just in case since it was included, but I'm fine with everything else as is. I'm going to try another one of these wedges. Look at that garlic butter. It's, like, it's perfect. It's marvelous. I would imagine that this is pretty close to what you would consider home cooking down here in Louisiana as far as gumbo and shrimp go. It's my first time here, but anytime that I have food in New Orleans from here on out, and it's anything resembling these, it's going to give me a real nostalgic feeling next time I have some. Let me go ahead and dust off this gumbo real quick. This is good. Still with you guys. Mm. I just wanted to finish that off ASAP. It was so delicious and addicting. More shrimp. And let me find them. Oh, yeah. Here we go. A nice, huge wedge. All of that garlic butter deliciousness. Looks like it has some nice herbs and seasonings in there, too. Spices. Let me get a nice... Big bite where all that garlic butter is piled up at. Mm. This doesn't get better than that. Whoever thought of having that garlic butter compound to drizzle over it, you're a genius, and we thank you for your service. But I won't hold you guys up. Food is amazing. Well, not too many more words to describe it. Just spot on. That's what I needed. Taste is right. Price is right. Quantity is right. Quality is right. Fired on all cylinders. So I'm going to finish this up. But don't worry. We'll be back soon. Travel Guru VT.